super readers. Last time we were together, we looked at words that have the same word part. These words all have in in them. Bin, win, tin, fin. Those words all have the word part in. These words all have the word part at in them. Sat, hat, bat, cat. They rhyme because they have the same ending. The last word part is the same. The only thing we changed was the very first sound. We put a b in front of in here. We put a w in front of in here. We put a t in front of in. And we put a f in front of in. We just changed the first sound. If I have the word at and I put r in front of it, what would this word say? It would say rat. This is the word at. If I put b in front of it, what would this word say? It would say bat. If I put an m in front of this word, what would it say? It would say mat. These words are so quick to know and to read because we already know the ending part at. So whatever we add to the beginning, it's still going to say at. Like if how if we add an s to the beginning, it will say sat. If we add a c to the beginning, it will say cat. If we add a p to the beginning, it will say pat. It still has the word part at. We're just changing the first sound. Today I want to teach you that there aren't just one or two magic words that can help us figure out and read new words. There are more. There's at, in, an, it, and all kinds of other word parts that can help us read new words just by changing the beginning sound. Like how if I put p at the beginning of an, now it says p an. If I put m mm in the beginning of an, now it says m mm an, man. If I put k in the beginning of an, now it says k an, can. Since last time we were together, we looked at words that rhyme with at and in. This time we'll look at some new word part endings. But first, let's read these ones. I bet it will be really quick since we know that all of these words will have in in them. And all of these words will have at in them. Let's try on this side. In, bin, win, tin, fin. We only changed the first sound. Now let's read the side. At, sat, hat, pat, cat. We only changed the first sound. The last word part stayed the same. Let's try it with some new word parts. This is the word it. It's a word all by itself. We use it a lot in sentences. We might write the word it or hear the word it, say the word it, or read the word it in a book. This is it. It has two letters, a small I and a tall T. The I says it and the T says t. So we read it like this, it. Now, it is a very special word because we could add a letter to the beginning of it and make a new word. Let's try it now. I'm gonna add the letter P to the beginning of it. What do you think that word is going to be? This is the letter P. It says P. When we put it with the word it, it says pit. This is the word pit. When I take the P away, it's it again. Let's try it with another sound. If I add the letter M to the beginning of it, what word do you think it will make? Let's try it. This is the letter M. It says M. Mm. When I put it with it, it says M. Mm, it. Mitt. This is the word mitt. When I take the M away, it's it again. That word part is still it. Let's try to add another sound. What do you think the word will be if I add an S to the beginning of the word it? The letter S says S. So we read it like this. S. It. That's the word sit. When we take the S away, it's just it again. 
What do you think it would sound like if we added an R to the beginning of it? The letter R says R. When we put it in front of it, it says writ. Writ. That's a silly word, but it would say writ. When we take the R away, it's it again. Now, I know that it isn't the only magic word part that we can do this with, so let's try it with a new word. Let's take it away and let's try it with the word an. We might hear an when we talk to people. We might say the word an, we might read the word an, or write the word an. An is a word that's kind of like a. When we add a new sound to the beginning of an, we make a new word. What do you think the word would be if I add a C to the beginning of an? C says k. When I put it with an, it says k, an. Can, this is the word can. When I take the C away, it's an again. The next word is still going to have an in it. If I add an R to the beginning of an, what do you think the word will say? R says r. So when I put it in front of an, it says r an. Ran. This is the word ran. And when I take the R away, it's an again. What do you think the word would be if I added an M to the beginning of an? Let's try it. M says mmm. So when I put it in front of an, it says mmm, an, man. And when I take the M away, it's an again. Let's try it with a couple more. Let's try it with a T. T says t, so this says t, an, tan. When I take the T away, it's an again. Let's try one more. When I put a P in front of an, P says p, so this word says p, an, pan. I don't have to take my time and sound out every single letter like this. P says p, so p. A says ah, like apple, so ah. N says n, like nest, so n, p, ah, n. No, I don't need to do that. That would take forever. I know that this says an, and I just added a new sound to the beginning. So now it says pan. Since we're learning really great brand new skills about rhyming words and words that have the same part so that we can make new words, I have a new song for you guys. The little word in makes lots of words, lots of words, lots of words. The little word in makes lots of words. Pin and win and fin. The little word at makes lots of words, lots of words, lots of words. The little word at makes lots of words. Bat and mat and rat. The little word and makes lots of words, lots of words, lots of words. The little word and makes lots of words. Man and can and pan. A little word it makes lots of words, lots of words, lots of words. The little word it makes lots of words. Sit and pit and mit. It's time for fast phonics. Hi guys, let's start off fast phonics by reading our vowel names and sounds and then looking at the sight words that we've already learned. Let's start with our vowels. A, A, apple. E, E, egg. I, I, igloo. O, A, octopus. U, A, uh, umbrella. Now let's read the sight words that we've become friends with that we know how to read and write, or maybe we're still practicing with. I, it's just spelled with an I. Can, C, A, N, can. The, T, H, E, the, C, S, E, E, C, we, W, E, we, me, M, E, me, A, it's just spelled with an A, like, L, I, K, E, like, two, T, O, two, and, A, N, D, 
And now we can look at our letter and our word for today. Our letter today is C. This is the camel card. C makes the k sound that you hear at the beginning of the word camel. What's the name of the letter? C. What's the sound the letter makes? K. Like at the beginning of camel. I will write an uppercase and lowercase C because that's what the sound k is spelled with. Uppercase C is tall. Uppercase letters are always tall. It goes around and stops. Lowercase c is small. It goes around and stops. They look the same. The only difference is the uppercase one is tall because uppercase letters are always tall. And the lowercase is small. Let's write it. We go around and stop. For the uppercase c, it's tall, so we go to the top. Lowercase c is small, so we start at the dotted line in the middle. We do the same thing. We go around and stop. Uppercase c is tall because uppercase letters are always tall. And lowercase c is small. Let's read a story that tells us all about the letter c and the sound k that it makes, like camel. The letter c. And there's an uppercase c and a lowercase c. C. C is for cookies. C is for cat. C is for carrots. C is for cake. C is for cactus. C is for camera. C is for camel. C is for computer. And here's where C is in the alphabet. Now let's make some words that use our letter C that says K. This is the letter C. It says K, like camel. This is the letter A. It says A, like apple. This is the letter T. It says T, like turtle. Let's read the sounds. K, A, T. Now let's put it together slowly. Cat. Now let's read the word. Cat. This is the letter C. It says K, like camel. This is the letter A. It says A, like apple. This is the letter P. It says P, like pig. Let's read the sounds. K, A, P. Now let's put it together slowly to hear the word. Cap. Now let's read the word. Cap. This is the letter C. It says K, like camel. This is the letter A. It says A, like apple. This is the letter N. It says N, like nose. Let's read the sounds. K, A, N. Now let's put them together slowly to hear the word. Can. Now let's read the word. Can. This is the word go. Let's read it together. Go. Now let's spell it. G, O, go. Spell it with me one more time. G, O, go. Now let's write the word go. The word go has a fall letter and a small letter. Let's start with our fall G. G goes around, up, and a hook. It's a fall letter because it falls below the line. Next is our letter O. It's small. We just go around and close it. Go. Now let's read a story that uses our word go. You might be thinking, I use the word go a lot. I read the word go, I write the word go, I hear the word go, I use the word go. We use the word go when we're talking about places we're getting to. Mom and I go to the store. We go to see the cat. This story is called, We Go to See Nan. And some of these are our sight words. We is a sight word. Go is a new sight word. To is a sight word. And see is a sight word and they use the name Nan. N-A-N. We go to see Nan. Cam and I go to see Nan. Cam can pat the cat. We can see the book. Cam can go and sit. The cat and I go and sit. Today we learned that there aren't just one or two magic words that can help us to read new words. There are lots, like the word it. If you know the word it, you can spell and read a ton of other words. Like how if we put an mmm in front of mitt, now it says mitt. Or if we put a b in front of it, now it says bit. Or if we put a s in front of it, now it says sit. If you know the word part, 
you can make more words. And if you know the word it, you can spell, read, and write other words that have it in it, like sit.